guys my name is Portia and welcome back to my channel so I know it's been a minute since I uploaded a video for you guys but I wanted to come on here today and do a semester three recap so if you guys are interested in that stay tuned <music> so where do I begin with semester three so this was a really good semester for me and I know I say that every semester well I said it last semester too but this semester was actually really good and I'm not sure if it's just I'm used to the chaos or the workload but I feel like this semester um I really was more confident in my study skills um and my study habits I was more self-aware of Whenever I needed a break, I took a break and I didn't feel guilty for it. Um, but I utilized my free time or my downtime better this semester. So we had four papers to write this semester, one of which was a 10 page paper on informatics. So you can imagine the boredom for 10 pages. But anyway, so um, the other three, papers I got done right away and I saved the informatics paper for around mid-semester is when I started on it and I gave myself maybe two weeks to complete it so all my papers were done weeks some of the months before the due dates um all of my group projects um I'm I was that group member yes that's me don't judge me or or judge me um I'm that group member. It's like, look, let's plan ahead. Let's go ahead and divvy out our tasks. Let's get a, a, a topic. Um, let's get a topic and a plan together now. And we can work on everything individually, our own parts. We'll come together around two or three weeks and put it together and see what else needs to be done. So yes, I'm, I'm that group member. Um, so I made sure to get those started early as well. So there were two group projects that we had that were done weeks, months before they were even due. So I had five classes this semester. My favorite this semester was regional anesthesia. Um, very, very interesting um, specialty. Like I really like it. Um, I hope that when I start clinical that I could be opportunity to really hone in on that skill. because I really enjoy regional anesthesia. Um, what else happened so i also got published this semester um so if you guys follow me on instagram then you will see where i post me and my friend who's also in the program we both got published in the same article um regarding COVID 19 and it's in the international student journal of nurse anesthesia um what else happened this semester um in december i actually applied for two scholarships and i received one of those scholarships so that was exciting as well um very humbling of course um and yeah this has been a good semester for me um finished out very strong um you know how you always have your own personal goals and it's like god just comes in and exceeds everything that you that you had planned for yourself and um yeah so it was a pretty good semester um, and then we had oral boards, oh, well, oral finals. <sighs> it's, I think our entire class was like, what the hell? Like, like what? Mm, so you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw where I used my whiteboards to study for oral exams. Um, so the professors gave us, um, each professor gave us four lectures that they were going to pull questions from now for oral exam how it worked was they gave us these four topics and you and they could pick a question from any topic um to ask you on it and your grade of course is based on what you get correct um so it worked out good um because like i said i i know how to study for those professors so the questions that they asked um, how they asked them, it wasn't it wasn't surprising my i think my entire class our our concern was okay so if you got a multiple choice or exam 
even if fill in the blank, if you if you're given options, you can pretty much you can always cancel out or or um get rid of two answers right off the bat. And you're pretty much able to get the right answer if you have the right information in the question and what you're thinking in your head. But when with an oral exam, you have to know it's either you know it or you don't. I mean, there's no in between. So that was the scary part. And those finals were worth a lot of our grade. Um, so we were all kind of like, what to ex we were we didn't know what to expect. We were really concerned about that. But when you prepare, then you prepare. Um, so yeah, now I'm on break for three weeks and I plan to rest, visit with family, and just I'm not gonna study. I'm not gonna um start next semester stuff, but I am going to prepare for clinical. So next semester, hopefully, um, the plan is for us to, on Fridays, do orientation. So we'll go to a local hospital here. We'll probably be assigned to a senior student, um, and we will be with them throughout that day. And it's kind of like orienting us to clinicals because this spring semester will be our final didactic semester. And after that, we'll be doing three full days a week of clinical plus our like, I'm not sure what it's called a capstone course or whatever course that we have to do our our um, doctoral research. Um, so yeah, so I'm I'm happy that they are giving us an orientation semester instead of just throwing us in there three days a week. Um, so yeah, so if COVID doesn't get any worse, um, then we will be I'm starting clinical one day a week next semester. So I am excited about that. And it's orientation too. So that means that whatever skills I've already been taught in my simulation lab, then I can perform those skills in clinical. So inductions, um, spinals, regional. So yeah, so I'm pretty excited. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous, but I am very excited. So yeah, and what else? So on this break, I'm going to just go review machine checks and my induction medications and dosages and what's by kilogram and what isn't um my my um gases just go over just lightly skim through my medications i'm not gonna be doing like a full out hour long study i'm just gonna go through everything um and keep it all forefront because even with induction and intubations you have a sequence of how things need to be done um of course we were taught a certain way but once we start clinical i may find a different way of doing it but for now i'm going to um, go over what i was taught in, in in sim lab so i think that's it yeah you guys and if i don't see you guys before january you guys have a happy new year. Be safe. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.